Good morning. Excuse me, but who let you in? I have no time for a personal appointment today. Mr... Holen. Martin Holen. I apologize for disturbing you, but uh, the door was open, so I entered. How come my secretary even allowed you to enter? I distinctly said I didn't want to be disturbed. Well, there was nobody in the office. Really? Those are explicit instructions. Well, I'll have to handle that later. Let's get to why you're here. Why have you come to see me? I'm with the International Archaeological Organization and need your authority to validate a permission to enter a site in western Bohemia where a German mine from around the end of World War II was uncovered. I've got the report on the discovery right here. something about that already. Tell me more. I'm afraid to disappoint you, but I only know as well what's in the report. You see, I've been studying the war for some time now. I'm very interested in that particular period, and Peter wanted me to go have a look. I'm supposed to learn the details at the site. Peter Nebel? Yes. Do you know him? We went to the same school. I remember him from a few of the bars and drink fests we hung out in. <laughs> Why haven't you applied for the validation approval formally? You see, I'm going to visit my uncle in France. Peter's call was pretty much unexpected, and I promised I'd check out the site before I left. Understand. Trouble is, I have no idea if that permission will do you any good. How do you mean? I got a call yesterday. They're afraid the corridors might be undermined. We asked for an explosive squad to investigate the whole area. You know what havoc people outside our field can wreak before we even get to the site? You're right. At any rate, I'll validate your permission for it. Just one condition. I'd like you to call me when you're finished over there. Oh, and say hello to Peter from me. Gladly. Thank you. I rented a car and set off directly to the location where the mine had been discovered. A lot of thoughts were running through my mind on the way. Soon the silhouette of the forest emerged on the horizon.
Halt! What are you doing here? Civilians have no business here. I'm from the Historic Monuments Institute, and I have the necessary permission. Another archaeologist? Weren't you supposed to back off until our people clear the area? Not quite. There's a couple of details left to be checked out. Okay, wait here. I'm going to call my commander. Sir, there's a man demanding entry to the location. No civilians are allowed to enter the site at this point. He says he has permission. Oh, does he? Let's see it then. Well, I'm not delighted. But it seems everything's okay with your papers. You're free to move around the camp, but nowhere else. Especially not the mine. Until that area is explored properly, nobody's going down there. Understood? Yes. You'll find your colleague down that path over there on the bridge. Colleague? He arrived after all the other archaeologists had left. Don't you know about him? Oh, of course. I remember now. I'll speak to him. Do what you have to. But don't forget what I said. This isn't looking good. Getting into the mine won't be easy. I'll have a look around and see what I can do. What are those old maps? That's none of your business. Could you spare a minute to answer a few questions? Well, okay, go ahead, but make it quick. We expect the explosive people to arrive tomorrow, and I need to have a working plan by 1700. Sure, I don't have much to ask about anyway. You see, my report on what happened here isn't exactly comprehensive. I'll tell you the brief version and I'll tell it once, so listen carefully. The discovery was made by the workers preparing the construction of a new speedway. The next day, one of them found the first mine. A couple more followed. They called your institute to report about their findings. Your people called us and backed off, so now we're taking over. Tomorrow, an explosive squad will arrive from Kazla. Until then, access to certain areas is restricted. What will that do for you? Yeah, I think so. He wouldn't tell me more anyway. I won't disturb you any longer. Make sure not to forget what I've told you. Nobody is permitted to enter the mine. Of course. Seeing people fly around is the last thing I want. Now leave me to my work. Those plans are not intended for civilian eyes. Uh, I barely had a look. Well, you better not have another one. They're edible, but I have no use for them.
Greetings, I've just arrived from Prague to take a look at the Discovery. You're not uniformed? Who are you? I'm a historian, yes? Uh, my name is uh, Peter. Peter Stashin. Martin Holland. I'm guessing by your accent I'd say you're not Czech, right? Well, no, I'm German, but my father is Czech. I had lived in Germany with my mother, but uh, after I finished my studies, I stayed here. Oh, we have something in common then. What university were you in? Charles University in Prague, but that was a long time ago. I don't want to talk about it. All right, let's turn the page. How long have you been around the camp? Not very long. I arrived this morning. And the others before you? The uh, others? You know, the others from the State Institute of Care of Historic Monuments. Oh, yes, the others. I, I got delayed in the city and came here as the last one. By the time I arrived, everyone had left. Except for those damn soldiers, of course. Strange that you didn't have to leave with the others. Very strange indeed. Why do I have this feeling that he isn't telling me everything? So, why did you stay? What do you mean, why? I did not the grunts to destroy everything. They don't understand anything. And I want to be around when they answer in the mine. I need to get in there too, and as soon as possible. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we could help each other out. The Major won't even hear about entering the mine again. You've already been inside? Yes, I have, but only for an hour or so. The Major came to show me up. No orders, he said, and wouldn't answer any questions. So it appears we're in the same boat. Yes, indeed. Can't possibly leave the discovery to them. They don't even know what they're dealing with. Give me some time. I'll have a look around and see what can be done. Idea. Come back later. I'm sure we can work something out. Agreed. There's something about him I don't quite like. However, we do share the same goal, and two is more than one. I'll return when I've learned more. Paul, who are you and what are you doing here? I just arrived from Prague. Right, I was told so on the radio. I've come to finish something off. Try to do it before the explosives folks show up. The Major told me everything already. Where are the mines? Something was in front of the entrance, but there might be more inside. We secured what we could, the rest is up to them. We guard the surroundings before they arrive, there might be something even outside. I certainly hope I'm not going to stumble upon a mine myself. This isn't fun, a lot of ammo from the war is still live. Of course, I'll keep my eyes open. What's inside the mine, anyway? 
It's you who should know that. Your people were here even before us. Well, yes, but I'm here for the first time myself. Better ask your colleague. I'm just on guard around here. Anything you can tell me saves me time. I was only there when we were installing the lights in the first section, that's all. In the first section? Damn, we're not supposed to talk about it. I said nothing, okay? The Major was looking at some old plans. Is that related somehow? Listen, I have zero incentive to continue to talk about this. Go do your job and let me do mine. Fair enough. Bye. Will you at least let me have a peek into the mine? I'll just take a brief look around and I'll be right back. No way. The order is nobody enters the mine, annoying historians included. Go away, will you? I have official permission to enter the mine. Let me in. You can just forget about that. The permission only covers the surroundings of the mine. How can I do my job if you don't let me inside? I've come only to explore this spot. Were you even listening? Nobody can go inside until the area has been secured. Calm down, I don't want any trouble. Good for you. Now go away. The Major said something about mines lying around. The place doesn't seem dangerous to me, but do you know something more? Well, it's true that the workers found something while uh, digging the mine. Not much, but the Major assumes there's more under the ground. That's why they're here, waiting for the experts. This Major, what kind of a man is he? I don't know. I only spoke with him a bit when I arrived. He asked a lot more questions than I would have liked. A soldier, you know. Tell me more about the mine. What's inside? Like you already heard, I didn't have much time to explore it. There's a system of hollowed corridors, some of them still supported by beams, some collapsed. Is that it? Just corridors? Surely the professor wouldn't have sent me here only to have a look at a hole in the ground. There has to be more than just corridors. Well, not quite. There's a steel door at the end, going on even further. Damn, I can't keep my mouth shut. I shouldn't have told you. What? Why? Well, not yet. You'll get to know more when the time is right. Why all these secrets? It seems to me he knows a lot more than he admits. Who actually owns these trailers, anyway? Construction engineers left them here. Likely they couldn't tow them away in time. 
So the one over there is free as well. It's yours if you need it. I don't think anyone will mind you borrowing it. At least, I didn't ask anybody, and uh, nobody asked me about it either. Good. There is nothing to talk about. We have nothing to talk about. There is nothing to talk about. How's it going? Today's all right. Yesterday was worse. A heavy rain all night. And who do you think was on guard duty, huh? What are you doing here anyway? Nothing special, really. Just taking pictures for the record. Sounds pretty boring. But you better stop talking to me now. The Major might not like it. Look, let me get to work. I don't have any time for your questions. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I won't be stalling you any longer. Good, I hope not. We have nothing to talk about. He won't let me get any further than the entrance. I have to think of another way to get inside. I have nothing to talk about with him. Locked. That old cabin behind the trailer, what's inside it? Oh, it's a cabin. What are you looking for around there? Nothing really, just asking. Certainly nothing you should be sticking your nose in. Why, what's going on with you? I I'm okay, I just... You see, there's nothing in the cabin, so why talk about it? All right, then. It's just an old cabin, anyway. Exactly. Why would he get this nervous all of a sudden? 
We have nothing to talk about. The color is peeling off. Other than that, the trailer looks livable. I've had a look around and don't know yet how to get into the mine. It isn't going to be easy. One of the soldiers is standing right in front of the entrance. Yes, I know he has his orders and won't leave his post, not even for a minute. It's probably better if we wait for the night. There's not much we can do now. I was thinking while you were having a look at the entrance. I know how we both could get inside. Both? Well, that's going to be even more conspicuous. Well, I have a plan. And together, we can pull it off. So, are you interested? I don't find the idea to be a great one. It can't be trusted. But it seems I have no other choice. All right, I'm listening. No matter how little I trust Stashik, his plan just might work out. Besides, I don't have a plan of my own. We've agreed on outsmarting the guard by the entrance to the mine. It didn't seem at all hopeless, and night was closing in quickly. One thing I couldn't get off my mind, though. What possible reason could he have for helping me get into the mine? I didn't get up until after midnight and slipped into the darkness of the forest. The light in the trailer was on exactly like we had arranged. The silence of the night was interrupted only by the sounds of night creatures. Are you here? There's nobody here. I'm sure we agreed to meet at this hour. Hmm. Maybe I'll run into him somewhere around the camp. There's something in the pocket. Use before July 10th, 2003. They're somewhat expired. A good can will never go bad, though. Out for a little nighttime walk, huh? Well, more or less. I can't sleep. Oh, I'd go to bed right away. This is my second night guard duty in a row. I can barely keep my eyes open. I wish the explosive people had already arrived. Tomorrow, right? I hope they won't be too late. I'm exhausted. Why don't you sit down? Nobody's gonna check up on you here. 
But they will. The Major's a light sleeper. He's sure to come out just as soon as I sit down. Oh, I don't think somebody could possibly mind your sitting down for a while. Were you ever in the military? Yes, I did. So, you know what an order is. And the order here is to be on guard the whole night. Not a word about sitting down. I have nothing to talk about with him. They're edible, but I have no use for them. I have nothing to talk about with him. Locked. I have nothing to talk about with him. The guard is looking at me. I can't just walk inside. They're edible, but I have no use for them. I can't go any farther. He'd see me. There's too much light by the entrance. I can't get any closer. Empty bottles, cards, and an ashtray. Nothing I need. Locked. Listen, the camp is illuminated as though it were daytime. Which doesn't exactly help to get to sleep. How about switching some of the lights off? Impossible. The Major wouldn't like it. Well, I don't think we're going to be attacked. At any rate, they can't be switched off. They're connected directly to the generator in the cabin. Try to put out a single row, and half the forest is as dark as a dungeon. Ah, too bad, because the light is shining right into my trailer. Well, then close your shutters. The lights have to stay on. That old cabin behind the trailers is locked. Do you happen to know how I could get inside? What for? Bit nosy, aren't you? What do you want in there? I'd like to have a look at those lights. 
The lights gotta stay on. Major's order. During the night, the cabin's locked. Only the Major has the key. So beat it. No problem. I was just asking. I have nothing to talk about with him. I have nothing. They're edible, but... Listen, I see you're not going to be going to bed all night. Could you do me a favor? Maybe. Depends on what you need. Well, I can barely keep standing. I'm starting to get real hungry. I sure could use something to eat. But I don't have anything myself and don't know of any restaurants around. Anything's fine. I'll eat anything. So, can you get a hold of something? I'll try. They'll come in handy now. I need to wait a little. That should be enough. Here, I got you something, but it isn't much. Ah, beans with mushrooms? Mm, couldn't get anything better. Oh, hey, never mind. As long as it's warm, it's perfect. Thanks. No problem. I can't go any farther. He'd see me. There's too much light by the entrance. I can't get any closer. I can't go. There's too... here what kind of filth did you put in that can what were those mushrooms huh well the mushrooms were edible I suspect the beans they might have expired that doesn't matter now I've got a well you know what Watch the spot for me. I'll be back in a minute. I'll slip inside quietly.
Oh, there's something in the right pocket. The key fits, right. It's heavy. Let's see what's inside. What is that sound? It's locked. I can't get inside. Oh my god. Somebody has hidden a corpse in here. Something damn weird is going on around here. Who could have killed him? Hopefully I'll have what I came for and be out of here soon. I'll have a look in his pocket. I'll have a look at the ID. The name is... Peter Stashik. I knew he couldn't be trusted. At least I know the murderer. Wrong switch. Must be the other one. I'd better switch it on. That's it. The lights outside are out. I have to take advantage of the situation. Immediately. Somebody's coming. I'll hide under the trailer. The lights are back on. I have to go inside. Quick! That was close. Nobody will be looking for me here. I must return to the camp before dawn.
There is a rod stuck in the barrel. Perhaps it served as a primitive faucet. I can't pull it out by hand. It's firmly stuck in the barrel. Wire netting prevents the earth from causing a cave-in. It's lasted decades. Hopefully it won't fail until I get out. They most probably used to be full of diesel fuel or oil, but now they're empty. The corridor ends at this point in a heap of collapsed earth. I won't get anywhere through here. I'll try to break the boards out. I don't know where it leads, but maybe I could try to squeeze through. If only it weren't so dark. The body of a dead soldier. He must have died in that cave-in. There's something in the pocket, a small set of keys. A massive steel part of a mechanism. Whatever it was, it's broken to bits now. It's not holding firmly in the beam. It appears to be loose. I have no idea what's inside, and I'm not interested either. It looks like something is missing here. Just a heap of earth.
This part of the mine has been flooded. It's murky and cold. A lot of garbage is floating on the surface. Rotten boards, various scraps of containers, and other garbage. A lot of garbage is floating on the surface. The label on that can over there is legible. It reads, oil. It appears to be undamaged. Maybe it's still full of oil. This must lead to the main part of the complex. Nothing. This one won't turn. It's stuck. This won't work. I'd only spill the oil on the floor that way. There's not a drop left in the oiler. I filled up the hand oiler with oil. completely dark in here. I can't see anything. Damn. The bulb must have burned out. Judging by the shape, it's probably some kind of lamp. I can't see much, but it does seem to have a little kerosene in it. Hopefully it's going to last a while. This huge generator must have been powering the whole underground complex. With a bit of luck, it could still work.
This is probably the main fuel inflow control. It's stuck. I can't turn it at all. It's stuck. I can't turn it at all. Great, it works. Houtgang, the central corridor. Right wing, archive. Left wing, stack room. It controls lights in the corridors. The lights are on, and that's how it's going to stay. It's locked. The key has broken in the lock. What now? It's locked. Stacked dynamite sticks. It could come in handy. Lots of old light bulbs that could still work. Those are full of kerosene while all the others contain diesel fuel. Just a little carelessness and the whole underground would turn into hell. A complete war archive. 
All these documents are of tremendous value. When I tell this to the professor, maybe I'll find here what he's been looking for. I'll have a closer look. I have no idea what exactly I should be looking for. D282. Hmm. What could he need the number for? All the drawers are systematically numbered. I have no idea what exactly I should be looking for. All the drawers are systematically numbered. D282. The number on the paper matches the one on this drawer. How could Stashik come across this number, though? Surely no one has made it down here yet. There was a small metal case hidden between the folders. There are some magnets of various shapes in the box. It reads, Danger of Injury in Close Proximity to the Platform. Emergency ladder. It leads high up into the darkness. It might be useful. doesn't work. The light bulb is missing. I'd say they control the hoist I've seen upstairs. The mechanism is old. I'd better leave it alone now. It's closed. I can't see a lock anywhere. The door is firmly shut. It appears to be empty. It appears to be empty. A groove this deep must have been made by something heavy. I'll try to push it off.
Judging by the groove in the floor, there must have been a way to open it. Judging by the groove, not a trace of an opening or a lock. Strange. I must find out what is behind this wall. The fuse is too short. A strong thread on a wooden spool. It shouldn't be a problem to pull out the fuse. Go hide fast. The crevice grew bigger, but the charge wasn't sufficient. This is where the rats crawl out, the hole in the wall. I have opened the canned beans. I've put in the trap some beans from the can. This could lure them out.
come on, get out. I'll try something. It worked. The mechanism inside has opened the secret door. I have a strange sensation that I'm being watched silently from the shadows. I feel that I'm close to the end. It might still work. Beethoven, Moonlight Sonata. A beautiful composition. The Journal of a Scientist, Nibiru Project Notes. There's a small opening in the middle of the cover, probably a lock. I skimmed through the pages of the decaying journal and turned to the last writings. Nobody believes me anymore. They don't believe in my success. My lab has been moved again, and Heinz, my assistant, is gone! The preparations and the transfer of the prototype to Bohemia took more time than I had expected, but the important thing is that today, everything is ready, and I can go back to work on the project again. The findings will be of immense significance. Why does that dummy Maelstrom have to be so blind? He's only interested in what could save the Reich, things that are capable of slaughter and demolition. Why wouldn't he understand that I'm right, that my efforts will lead to great results? He's far away now, though. So I'm down here all by myself like a rat being punished. But at least I won't be stopped from work by their stupid ideas and orders. With great difficulty, I am getting used to the cold and the dampness down here, but I have no choice. Even the air is worse than in Nordhausen. During the following days, I will activate the core and try to bring the prototype to life again. I'd like to see Maelstrom's expression now that he's found the old lab empty. Without the prototype, without the calculations, without notes. He's got what he wanted. Shouldn't have been so deaf and blind to my work. Prove my theory, we will see upon whom the eyes of the whole nation will be. I will prove to everybody that I am right, then I will return to the top of the scientific world as a right where I belong. I've been here for so long now that I'm beginning to lose track of time. I don't even know if it's day or night. 
Vice versa, though, things aren't proceeding as fast as I had anticipated. It's been over a month now, and I didn't get any further with the prototypes than before. Damn! I verified all the calculations twice already, and went through every single configuration possibility again! Why won't that thing awaken? If only I had another undamaged prototype, everything would be so much easier! But maybe there is no other, or if there is one, it's likely ended up in Maelstrom's dirty hands! Yes, directly from Mexico, like on a silver plate. What if he has really made progress and has overtaken me? It took two years to find it and transfer it to Europe, and it's most probable that no other exists anyway. The only one was in Jaguar's temple, and everything that we found there is here with me. But enough writing, I must get back to work. So sleepless nights finally brought results! A tiresome cough and a cold prevent me from concentrating and even sleeping properly. But that doesn't matter now. What's important is that I have managed to correctly assemble the prototype. There is no doubt that the original setup, which was based on the first calculations and drafts, was flawed. What pity that I wasn't able to come up with this concept right at the beginning. But there is no going back. Now I need to adjust all the energy flow calculations. Endless work and concentration are beginning to take a toll. I slept 20 hours today. One thing worries me. I've heard news on the radio about Russian troops entering Bohemia. I didn't want to believe it, but for the first time since I... Rockenfeuer Parker confirms the news. Why just now? How could I possibly shut down the research at this point? And first, I mustn't get caught by the Russians. That would be the end of everything. The situation in Bohemia is going from bad to worse, so I'm forced to start real testing earlier than I had intended. If my calculations are right, it should work. Tomorrow, I'll run the first test on a living creature. It's good that there are so many rats down here. The first test came off, and the results have superseded all my expectations! The subject underwent energetic fusion without any harm whatsoever. I made it! Only the last phase remains. To run the fusion test on an entity of a higher evolutional level. And since there's nobody else around, the first one to feel new life in the veins will be me. I am not scared. I have succeeded. A wave of energy ran through my body, a sensation that I cannot... Like in the test with the rat, there were no side effects. The sense of victory that I am experiencing is shadowed only by the unfortunate play of the circumstances. Our troops are losing! Hauptmann Kratz's unit arrives this morning! This place is no longer safe for me! Americans are coming from the west, and the east is taken by the Russian. Kratz has an order to help me disassemble the whole prototype and transfer it to someplace else. He wouldn't tell me where. I'm supposed to try to elude the Russians and give up to the Americans. Give up? We managed to disassemble the prototype, but the situation has become critical. I have to flee as soon as possible and leave everything here. 
My calculations can't be discovered by anybody. In a hurry, I threw the key to the safe into the drain in the lab. Hopefully, nobody will get to my notes that way, and they will be safe until everything is forgotten. Dietrich Ramhart. April 25th, 1945. a suspicious spot on the last page. There is a spot where the paper seems somehow different than everywhere else. That's the right combination. One of those archaeologists is heading to the mine. You know the drill. Nobody's permitted to enter. Get rid of him. Yes, sir. I don't like this at all. I'll need to hurry up and get out as soon as possible. All those machines, complex mechanisms and systems, 
Something big was going on around here, hidden away from the eyes of everyone. Lots of scientific tools. Hmm. And there's also a strange magnet here. Just They're full of some dark colored solution. The labels are no longer legible. Perhaps they contain ammunition. The main fuel tank of the generator leading into the wall, maybe. Judging by the smell, it's full of kerosene. There is no fuel in the burner. I've poured kerosene into the burner. I've poured kerosene into the burner. The iron is now heated. revealed a hidden writing. Some digits, hmm. There is something glittering down in the sediment. I've tied the magnet to the string. I won't dirty my hands with that. <laughs> 